Okay, so for this one, we have to use superposition theorem to find V uh, in the following circuit. So superposition, uh, you, you pretty much turn off one source and keep another source on, and it has to be uh, independent sources. So like dependent sources don't count, you can't turn those off, but you can turn off uh, independent sources. So, so this is an independent source, this is an independent source. To know if it's a dependent source, it usually looks something like this, okay? So if it's a circle, it's an independent, and then if it's like uh, a rhombus shape, then it's uh, dependent. So we're gonna start off by turning off the three amp uh, current. I also wanna tell you that um, I do not recommend using the superposition theorem unless the question asks you to, because it's really time consuming. All right. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. So when you turn it off, you get like an empty uh, wire here. So with no current is traveling to uh, this wire, okay, because it's uh, open. So the circuit is actually, looks something like this. So we had eight ohms, and we have four ohms, and six volts. And we're trying to find uh, V at, this, at the four ohm resistor. So right now we can find the current passing through this wire. V equals IR. Six and eight plus four, and I will be one over two. All right. Now we can find V. V is equal to four times one over two, and this gives you two. Now, before you like uh, start writing this, start start you know jumping to conclusion. This is not your answer, because uh, superposition you have to do another step. So this will be V1, uh, okay? Let's call it V1, okay? This is not V, this is V1. The second part is you turn back on you, the source you originally turned off, and you turn off the other one. So now uh, we have something like this. All right, so this is uh, if you turn off the six volt uh, voltage source, then it, it, you have a, a, clo a closed wire like this. So if you have uh, if you turn off a current source, it's an open wire, and if it's a voltage source, then it's a closed wire. Now this will be V two, okay? So now we have to solve for this one. So let's start by doing a mesh. Let's call this I one. Uh, actually, let me do it the other direction. Let's call this I and let's call this I1. We already know what I will be. I will be 3 because it's moving the same direction as this. So now we have 4 I1 minus I plus 8 I1 equals 0. This will be 4 I1 minus 3 plus 8 I1. And then, you know, foil everything in. Divide both sides by 12, I I1 is 1. Now we can find uh, V2. V2 is 4. Uh, I1, which was 1, uh, minus 3. So it's minus 8. Uh, take the absolute value of it. OK? Now we we are, we're now able to find V, okay? V will be V1 plus V2. So it'll be 2 plus 8, and it'll be 10. So that's your answer.